this you know i have something else planned the but anyway so uh very interesting the analysis went today in fact it was like a fairly unusually range bound day also uh, but before you know we go into the detail we let's let's just go actually into the detail right so so let me just share my screen get my mug out and then we'll start with telegram market as usual we'll do three things we look at the charts we look at the open interest data we look at the option chain we look at the fia data and we'll try to figure out what is up with nifty what is up with bank nifty and what is up with usd inr with that agenda in place let me go uh, right in to our first order of the day which is the nifty chart right so also there is a variability in our timing because of two reasons one me which is the biggest reason the other is of course nse sometimes publishes the data late sometimes it goes as late as 9:45 and without fia data it's kind of incomplete to have this uh, program right so anyway let's go to nifty so yesterday our analysis was that it has taken a resistance at 100 dma and we also said there's a possibility that it can go down all the way to 200 dma uh, i mean this was a fairly easy read right there's no rocket science there and i mean you don't need me to tell you that or you don't need anybody else to tell you that this is something which you'll figure out if you have been following this thing for a while right so so right of the bat uh, nifty did uh, do a, a bounce back from the 200 dma which was very very obvious so this is the 200 dma zone as you can see and it went all the way to 17000 and it bounced back 300 points and now it closed below 100 dma again right so our funda yesterday was that if it's below 100 dma it's a sell if it's about 200 dm if it reaches 200 dma it can get some support so there was a trading opportunity here that you could have shorted here because it opened right below the 100 dma right and it went down all the way right uh, and then probably you could have made your positions lighter but honestly looking at the way market was acting today it did not look like it would bounce back from 200 dma till it started bouncing back right uh, now so this is an incomplete picture right because now anything can happen either tomorrow it can open above this and continue upwards or tomorrow it can open down and continue downwards so the important thing is that somewhere around this level is the middle of this channel yesterday it was below the middle of this channel now it is again above the middle of this channel and this channel is the is what we assume is the is a slightly longer term lower high lower lows channel which we are seeing for some time now with this in place we don't have a complete information so we have to look at other sources of data and that will be option chain right now in option chain we can see that there were puts added at the bottom calls added at the top although there is call change and put change being indicated none of this main action i don't think has happened here it must have happened outside in far away strikes that doesn't really matter but calls were added at higher strikes put were added at low strike which resulted in um, this option chain right now if you look at it 17400 17300 are actually resistances there are more calls than puts and the first real support is at 17000 right and pcr is at 0.8 which is neutral so again as if chart was not confusing enough we have option chain also which is not giving a clean verdict right so now that we don't have clean verdict on chart or on option chain we'll go to our third source of data which is the fia data now the problem with fia data is yesterday there was a gap now the gap is wider the green is bigger than uh, sorry red is bigger than green which means that it is looking bearish on options plus they sold 14000 calls and bought 24000 puts which for me is a big bearish signal and then i come to index futures and now index futures is a buy 1000 crores stock is a buy 300 crores so fi is also conflicted but i would for sure give higher weightage to option data over future data i mean from what i've experienced over time right we'll also look at one more thing which is the oi so if you look at one thing right this is something which is worth noting If you look at last month ka open interest data February the OI was only around 12000 crores but now it is in healthy 1000 crore kind of levels this could mean that market was not as bearish as it used to be so for me right now the mood is uncertainty if you put a gun on my head and say boss aaj sham kuch to trade karo i would have squared off my shots 
I would have like I I want to say I want to be long, but the problem is this, right? I don't want to be long for one reason. That is this hundred DMA. If this hundred DMA is broken, I'll happily go long. But as long as it is not broken, it is going to be really tough to buy at this level, as we saw yesterday. So the back the zone is on. It is hundred and two hundred DMA ka beach ka zone. There is a high likelihood that hundred DMA might break and it might continue upward, especially the way market has bounced back today. But that is trying to get ahead of ourselves. So the idea is not to bet here. Like I said yesterday, right? If the hundred DMA gets broken, you can enter a trade with minimal points miss, right? So abhi seventeen three one five. Uh, hundred DMA is at what seventeen three hundred and eighty or something. If you wait eighty points, you can actually. Buy on the break of hundred DMA rather than trying to predict if hundred DMA will break or not. So as of now, my verdict is I'll wait and watch and see what happens at the hundred DMA. One more thing is if hundred DMA line is approached with significant volumes, right? So I'll just show one thing here, which is uh, yeah. Today on futures, for example, there was a bullish engulfing and it broke the 50 B D M A line, and it happened with some volume. Now this is encouraging in the sense that this can be a sign of bullishness. Uh, like I said, if 100 D M A gets broken on volumes, it is a sign of bullishness. But my problem is today the last few candles in our list did not happen on the back of much volumes, because the last two candles were fairly weak when it came to volumes. So I'm not sure about this particular. You know, last up move we saw, um, and and it's best that we wait and watch. What is the need to predict? Tomorrow it will be very clear, and we can of course let go of a hundred point to be. So the thing is, you will lose hundred points if you don't take the trade now, the long trade. But if the break is confirmed, you will take a short trade rather than take an uncertain trade, speculate and potentially hit a stop loss. Like yesterday, if you had taken that trade, right, you would have hit the stop loss today at seventeen thousand. Whereas today it gave you a much better entry at the 200 DMA if you wanted to go long, and now you can Aram say put a stop loss if you are still holding that long, right? But if you don't hold a long now, it doesn't make sense to hold, sorry, to go long till that 100 DMA is broken, right? Uh, so wait for the break. If it breaks, we'll go long. If it doesn't break, then we'll go short with our you know first target at 200 DMA, and if 200 DMA breaks, we'll further enter other sh shorts, right? Now this is Bank Nifty again, right? My problem with Bank Nifty is we have a trend line here, which is a support. We have a downward trending, very clean channel, but unfortunately, uh, these two are conflicting. The trend line is upward sloping, the channel is downward sloping, and on top of that, we saw clean bounce from the trend line today. But 50, 200, 100, all these moving averages are clustered up here, right? And my problem is. With three significant moving averages coming next to each other in a small zone of roughly uh, how many points is this here? The 500 point zone, me 800 point zone, me you are finding three moving averages. This is going to be very difficult for Bank Nifty to break, right? So the trend line on the one hand, these three moving averages on the other hand, downward trending channel again, right? Like I'm I'm happy to short here, but like if I get it here, I would happily short. But the problem is, I don't know if it will go till here. So it's it's kind of a no trade zone in the sense that yes, today we saw almost a bullish hammer, but yesterday we saw a bearish engulfing. So that engulfing top is still not hit, and on top of that, there are three moving areas. So let's look at the forces in play, right? Channel. So medium term trend is down. Trend line, which means short term trend is up, or long term trend is up, right? Uh, bullish engulfing. Daily candle may. bearish signal which has still not hit the stop loss because the uh, because the uh, stop loss of this thing is around 36600 levels right but there is a bullish hammer here which is a bullish signal and there's a rejection wick at the trend line which is a clean clean you know bullish signal but i have three moving averages to bet against so basically it's very very conflicting for me to take a bank nifty trade i would rather take a trade if this trend line is broken it's a very very happy to A trade to take for the simple reason that once if this trend line is broken, we'll have a negative price action, we'll have a negative candle, and it will be below this middle of, middle of the channel. So it's a happy shot, right? So basically the mood is uncertainty. 
तो फिर आप पूछोगे कि यार वाई डिड यू होल्ड दिस प्रोग्राम यही बताना था कि यार मेरे को पता नहीं क्या होगा सो समाइम्स राइट द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इन ट्रेडिंग इज टू एक्नोलेज दैट यार पता नहीं मतलब लाइक लाइक ऑनेस्टली राइट सिंपल thing like if you ask me what is going to happen tomorrow i have no clue and sometimes it is really really important that you acknowledge that boss no clue right so um it anamale is saying why don't we put strangle it is very tempting to do a strangle but you know if it breaks any side breaks then your strangle is going to be thoda in trouble but yeah i mean since it is far away then probably it is not a bad idea right so that is that so it's it, it, so ashish is saying best strategy not to trade for a couple of days maybe it's not a bad idea at all uh mission of the saying trading crore worth of assets government structure from malia and modi will be a post 19 crore is small right or are you saying 19000 crores but anyway uh so now finally going to usdnr usdnr so usd nr analysis for some reason has been very working very well for us so we had this long term channel in usd nr which is this channel so you can say that this is completely playing here right so yesterday we had said that it had taken a support here and there is upside it went it had the upside it went all the way today to this zone where it hit the top of the channel and again it came back now the catch is is it going to consolidate here and break out or is it going to go back to the bottom at least from the short term price action right it seems a little unlikely that usd inr might go back to the bottom of this channel because usd inr seem like it seems like it is consolidating for a move to 77 as, as of now right i'll be much more sure of this if this level so you can look at the break of this level if this level breaks right somewhere around 7640 on spot i mean on future in fact 7650 will be very nice then you can play all the way to 7720 7730 probably an 80 book by some move right but as of now usd nr is clearly in this channel and the top channel is this which ends somewhere around 7740 odd levels so what's my take away your kal trade mat karo kuch jayega nahi matlab i mean i'm pretty sure many people will be there who will have a view on it but i don't have a, unfortunately i don't have a view on it so my fund is ki agar if i see negative price action at 100 dma tomorrow i will try to uh, short the market if 100 dma is broken i will uh, try to square shorts go long etc etc right so this is our read on nifty bank nifty and usd inr for today i mean i am very sorry 13 minutes and we have no view but it's a good thing to sometimes have no view and sit up see uh, sometimes the best trades in life are also the ones which you don't take because you don't lose money in it and you can preserve your capital for the time when you are very sure uh, so this is my read on it so we'll see you again tomorrow as usual this is not tips or anything this is just analysis so that you know like like somebody was telling me yesterday we are trying to do atmanirbhar the in trading in the sense that uh, eventually we all know how to do this all ourselves right So thanks guys so much for joining we'll see you again tomorrow uh till then keep your capital safe and have a very safe and very profitable expiry take care and bye